My name is Jerry Rufinek. I'm a 54-year-old married father of three and grandfather to one. I've had a total shoulder replacement done at Chester County Hospital in the spring of 2014. Professionally, I'm in medical device sales. I sell devices for heart surgery, open heart surgery. I like to play sports. I've surfed all my life. I've played baseball, basketball, football, and I played rugby for almost 10 years. My children didn't necessarily play the traditional sports, but my youngest really took to baseball. Baseball was a passion. It really became a passion of his, and he plays third base. I would try to help him with his batting and, and his arm and how to throw the ball, but what I found even in his grade school years into his high school years is that I just didn't have what I used to have in my throw. And by the time he got to high school, I couldn't throw. I couldn't throw over him. And it was extremely upsetting that I couldn't do that with my son because he had the skill set to make it, to make it into college and maybe somewhere beyond that. That, that pain really, really made me do something, really made me act to fix what was going on with my shoulder. But I knew from my history that I could fix it. Um, I'm a fairly young guy, but I, I'll be obviously having joint issues. I had my hip surgery done at the age of 49. About 13 months later, that device failed, and I had to have it re-operated uh, on. And that didn't deter me uh, from wanting to get healthy with my shoulder. But it did give me a reason to look at other options and other hospitals. And we looked uh, at several institutions inside the city of Philadelphia, and I talked to a number of different device reps. Being in the device rep world myself, I had access to them in the operating room. When I asked uh, what I should do for my shoulder, the device rep uh, that gave me the best information said, where do you live? And I said, I live in Chester County. I live in Westchester. And he said, you will get as good or better of an operation by Dr. Townsend at Chester County than you will get anywhere else in this area. Dr. Townsend uh, met with me, and it was a revelation as to how you can be treated as a patient. She listened to me. She listened to why I'm there. She listened, and the why is not just it hurts because it did. It's what do I want to do? Why do I want to get it fixed? And she understood that at that age, at 53, when I got it done, that I wanted to be able to throw the ball again. I wanted to be able to, I wanted to, be able to help my son become a better ball player. I wanted to do that with him. Sorry. And I just wanted to get back to my life. I wanted to be able to sleep on my shoulder and hold my wife. I wanted to be able to swim in the ocean again. I wanted to be able to surf. I wanted to be able to bring my arm over my head naturally. She was very communicative to me as to what to expect uh, and what not to expect. I mean, when you're replacing joints, you can't expect miracles. Although I feel like I had one, I, my expectations were set that I can't expect it. So I went uh, the morning of and uh, of my surgery. My wife came with me and we checked in. They had our name. They had our information. It was simple. Um, it, was, it, was, it was really pleasant to do that morning. I didn't wait long. Uh, they took me up to the prep area, pre-op, and I changed, and my wife was able to stay with me the entire time. And then Dr. Townsend came in uh, prior to surgery and, again, reset expectations and what I was going to be going through, and uh, anesthesia would be coming in and talking to me, and I'd be going out before I go into the operating room. Um, and I remember, that's it. <laughs> Boom, anesthesia hit me, and uh, I woke up in recovery. 
Dr. Townsend came in to uh, the uh, recovery room to see how I was making out. Uh, and I was still groggy, uh, but asked a few quick questions and then, and then and went on her way. I uh, next saw her up in my room, which the new wing at Chester County Hospital is incredible. Uh, it's clean, it's bright, it doesn't feel like a hospital room. And I had wonderful care. Dr. Townsend came in and checked on me and again gave me, you know, exact expectations where I was going to hurt when I wasn't going to hurt um, then that first night was a little rough the pain uh, but after that I felt I felt pretty good I stayed in the hospital for about three days and was discharged so today I'm able to do a lot of things I couldn't do I can throw the ball with my son not well but I can throw it uh, the strength is going to continue it's going to continue to come more and more as I heal and continue to heal. Uh, I uh, set a personal goal to be able to swim in the ocean and by August, and that was only six months post-surgery. I didn't make August, but I made September. I think that's pretty good. I was very happy about that. Um, this summer, I'm hoping to surf again. And uh, we just got back. We took 11 people. Uh, my wife and I and my uh, three children, their friends, and two of my nieces to St. Thomas. And we were on the boat, we were swimming, we were snorkeling, and I had my granddaughter in my hands the whole trip. It was great. Because I had it done, and because I had it done right, and because of the care that I had to help me and guide me through my recovery, I was able to do that. I was able to take my family and enjoy a wonderful trip. I can't imagine not having done it, but I can't imagine having it done it anywhere else at this point. And the care that I got while I was there, especially Dr. Townsend, uh, I'm extremely appreciative of and grateful for.